today I'm going to be going over my um, Forge Motorsport lift kit for the Volkswagen Atlas. So um, I believe this is good for, I think it says it on here. It's good for like Tiguan, um, all track, Atlas, and anything. I guess you could put it on a Golf or a Jetta too, anything with the new MQB chassis. So I'm just boxing it up today because I took it off um, and we replaced our Atlas with a new Atlas. But I figured I'd go over it, um, what I like, what I don't like, um, and my experience with it. I actually just said this in a video I recorded earlier today, but I'm not really like a review kind of guy. Um, I'm more of a, you know, opinion. Like I just, I, I look at what other people think about it and I value other people's opinions and I would imagine that people would value an honest opinion instead of just, this is a lift spacer i'm not really that guy like I, we know what this is you're not here for me to tell you specifications you want to know what to think about it how it held up and how it, how it's used so i have to start with saying that this is the second one i bought the first one um, i bought it was like probably back in 2018 or 19 right after we got the atlas um and it, it was it was um right after they came out with it, Forge Motorsport. And it, it's this, uh, is like a plastic or, um, I don't know what, it's on their website what it's made out of. It's like a polyurethane or something. It's, it's, it's plastic, it's plastic. So when I first bought it, it was like an anodized aluminum or steel. It was really, really, really nice quality. Um, and it was the same price. I think it was like 300 bucks. So the first one I bought was 300 bucks. And it was, like I said, it was like an anodized aluminum or steel. It was really nice quality. Really, really nice quality. Um, this is just plastic. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's just a lift spacer, you know, at the end of the day. But um, one thing I noticed is that after having it on my car for, I don't know, uh, over the next morning I noticed that the rear sat lower than the front and I feel like that wouldn't have happened with the um, with the anodized aluminum or steel uh, the metal ones so another thing is that I don't think it was necessarily a fault of the lift more of maybe just a fault of worn springs on my atlas um, we've never towed or anything like that with it but you know it's possible that the springs in my atlas were just a little bit worn out and that's the reason so i'm not putting that entirely um at the fault of the lift kit but i think um had we had the metal one um that wouldn't have happened so the reason why we bought the original one is because my wife wanted to lift it so i bought the lift and i decided to go do it and she's like nope i don't want to lift it anymore and so i sold it and then you know lost some money on that and then like you know a year ago she's like oh i want to lift atlas again so i bought the lift again and here we are so taking it back off to sell it um so we ended up getting a new atlas um like two weeks ago and so that's why i'm getting rid of it because it's not needed she doesn't want to lift the new atlas i honestly don't know why she'd want to lift atlas much anyways because we have this thing and it's like super it's it's ridiculous you don't need two lifted car this thing is ridiculous enough for all of us so as far as it being lifted and everything it didn't ride any different she claims that it rode really bad lifted um and then when i took the lift off she's like it rides really bad and i'm like yeah all it is is a spacer lift on a unibody car it's it's not uh you know, it's not a body on frame truck. It's not a lift kit or anything like that. It does a job um, if you want to put a little bit bigger tire on there. So we ended up putting like a 32 inch tire underneath our Atlas. Um, and it looked pretty good. It was, uh, I forgot the size, but it looked good. It didn't rub, it worked good. We took it on the beach a couple times or once or twice, once or twice, something like that. Um, either way, we took it on the beach and it did great. The Atlas is a really good vehicle. Um, I actually have a couple reviews of the Atlas 
up or a review of my experience with the Atlas up. I'll link it um, up top. So yeah, I mean, it's a cool, you know, little kit to lift your Atlas up. I think it's like an inch and a half leveling kit is what they call it. Um, but ours lifted the front higher than the rear. I mean, just ever so slightly, but it was enough that I didn't like it. Um, on the new Atlas, if we ended up lifting it, which I hope that we don't just because I don't want to listen to, you know, her talk about how bad it was lifted and then I took it off and then it was still bad. Anyways, I hope we don't end up lifting the new one. It just doesn't seem worth it to me when we already have a ridiculous lifted truck anyways. Um, but I think if we do, I'm going to go with the H&R coilover lift. I heard that is um, a lot more it's it's gonna give me a little bit more suspension travel whereas this kind of in theory it would it would move your down travel um you know two inch and a half two inches down so then you lose a little bit of down travel which an independent suspension car like the atlas really doesn't have much to begin with so um i really don't think i could say too much bad about it i really don't have a whole lot of good to say about it too um I noticed one thing with the insulation installation that the um the rear like you know the, the spring is is kind of oriented in the cup the way that it's supposed to go I and mean, when you you lower the you know the ag the spring cup or whatever it's called you know the trailing arm control arm whatever and you put the little spacer on top and then you put it back in then it kind of so like the spacer is here and the spring is here it kind of like instead of sitting straight like when you're trying to push it back in it kind of wedges like this and i wasn't paying attention and got it kind of wedged in and then i had to drop the um the the spring cup again and when i did the freaking spring shot out and hit me right in the head and i mean as my own stupidity but the the i don't think that would have happened with the metal um anodized aluminum kit that this was originally because it wouldn't have flexed like that it, it, what happened is you put the spacer in and then like the bottom of it like flexed out and that's what caused it you know because there's like a like a, a perch on either side of the anyways i really think this is a good kit for what you pay for it if you just want to get your atlas up on a little bit bigger tire um for me it's just not what i'm looking for and the insulation is kind of dumb as far as i mean with the with the rubber ones the metal ones i think would have been a lot better but i didn't get to use those um lost money on those and now these are going to be up for sale if you want them send me a message i'll, I'll get them to you they're i'm not going to sell them for very much but i mean if i had to say like hey if, if i had to recommend um i'd probably still recommend it it's it, it worked just fine did it you know had its um did its job just fine but my opinion forge could have done better with the i guess revision I don't like the polyurethane bushing style. I like the original metal ones. And even if it meant that the metal ones added a little bit of NVH because they didn't have as much dampening, I would have been okay with that over the just sloppiness of the insulation and the, the fit and finish of this kit as is. So that's just my opinion. That's my experience with it take it for what it is it's not a review um if it was a review i'd say you know i'd read you the information sheet and then turn the camera off but there you have it um i did my best to share my experience uh hopefully i'll do my best to get some you know video overlay while i'm not standing here talking the whole time and yeah hopefully uh, you check out my review of the atlas uh, we had it for four years and we just traded it in for a new one I should have a new video of the new Atlas coming out in the next month or two. And um, I just bought an MQB Jetta. My channel is mostly about GX470 stuff. So if you're into that, that's cool. But I have Volkswagens too, and I like those as well. Um, I'm not really picking a, a poison here on the YouTube thing. I'm just doing what I like. So I like Volkswagens. I like the GX stuff. I like off-road. I like on-road. I really got uh, some good ideas here for another project in the next couple years. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, good kit. I'm selling mine. Uh, send me a message if you want it. Um, but really, I think uh, the way to go is the H&R lift coilovers. So, thanks.